Hi YouTube, it's your girl Pink Vintage here and I wanted to do a follow-up to the Michael Kors Hamilton tote review that I did a couple of weeks back. Um, I got the bag from Dillard's for 179 bucks on sale and it was only this color that was on sale. This particular bag is a few years, you know, out on the market, so it's but it's still popular and it's still full price $3.58 for some specific colors. I just got my color on sale. And I was gonna order a dark dune, which is like a a bronzy, beigey, goldish color um, that was on sale at Belk for a hundred and I want to say 89 or something like that. And when I went back on the website to order it, like a few hours later, it was back to 358. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I do see that some colors do go on sale at some particular points in time. And then sometimes they'll actually jump back up for whatever strange reason. So if you do see this bag, if this is something that's on your wish list, then you need to go ahead and purchase it if you find it somewhere on sale. And I love rehome, pre-owned bags, but more so in the higher end designers like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and I've gotten some three home um, doonies, but something like this, when I could get it for 179 bucks, brand new from Dillard's, I opted to get this one new. So the point of the true point of my um, follow-up video today is to express the fact that I realized that the lock on the front of the bag is not just pretty and it's not just for show. It actually has functionality. So once you you know, remove the key from the key holder, insert it into the lock. You can sit the lock aside, or you can leave it hanging in there if you want, whichever one, but I'm just gonna sit mine to the side for now. What you do is you open it up, and it has that closure that's just like the Birkin, which I love so much. Unsnap the inside, and you wanna slide this particular strap over, you know, just to expand it, and you do the same thing on the other side of the bag and what you can do well you don't have to pull it that far but what you can do is you can open the bag wider and I didn't notice this until I took my lock um well I didn't take the lock off what I did was I opened it just like so and I stuck the lock back on and I just wore it like this for um for a day so I realized in wearing it like this that it was opening, you know, really wide. I had it on my shoulder when I went to the post office and I was just like standing in line and I had packages in my hand and I was like, wow, let me, you know, when I, when it was time to grab my wallet, I was like, wow, I can really see everything in this bag right now. And of course, to me, the look was different. Um, cause I was just trying to think of something to do to switch it up. I was even thinking about putting like a, a charm or a keychain on here and taking the lock off, just trying to be creative and different. Um, since I said I wanted to wear this bag for a while, I was like, well, if I'm going to wear it for a while, I'm definitely going to have to switch something up on the bag. So I was like, maybe I could stick a charm on the side of the chain or something. But then when I got the idea to do this, I realized that it expands the bag and I was like silly me in my video I was like well I don't know what this is on here for like other than why would why you would want to take it off and it's cute and blah 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 but I'm like no it's actually a part of the bag's function if you want to expand the bag so as you can see you can like literally look down inside of the bag and find anything and everything that you want it just with it being expanded like this and it also gives you more room if you wanted to you know use it for a temporary situation um for example i had my laptop my um, lunch sack and my my cup on the side and the cup is spill proof um so you know it was okay and i have a quilted lunch sack from um Vera bradley so everything was like protected so it's not like i just had this random stuff in here that could just easily spill into my bag but um, the point of all that is, see, once you snap it closed, it's still really wide open. Um, the point about that was it makes the bag more of a all-around bag, which was one of the reasons why I picked this pretty bag up. Because I wanted something that could be a work tote and a handbag all in one. Um, and for today, I don't have that much stuff in here. 
But again, when it's time to use this as a work tote, all I do is toss in my laptop, toss in my files, and I toss in, you know, whatever, lunch sack, cup, um, whatever I need. And I did spill some milk in here from um, Starbucks when I got my coffee, but it was just a couple little drops. And honestly, it wiped up easily um, because it spilled more so on the sake and the leather, like the back zipper part of it. Um, it has sake and the leather inside. And then I did spill some on the front and I just used a magic eraser and I wiped it and it came right off. You couldn't even tell that anything had happened to it. So um, it's starting to, the leather is starting to break down a lot, which I really like, but it's not sagging, which I really would not like. Um, and this Sapiano leather, because to me, when a Sapiano leather has a sag in it, it's kind of a permanent sag. As you can see, it's bending over here. But in order to fix that problem, what I do is just even out what I have in the bag on each side. So again, if you want more room, and if you're busy, you're on the go, you have it on your shoulder, you definitely can, um, let me show you. You definitely can throw, undo the lock and throw more items inside of the bag. And I'm really wrinkled right now. So just regard the outfit, this wasn't about me, it was about the bag. But um, see, it's really wide. It's truly a tote. Um, once you undo the lock. So that was my follow up review to just show you ladies that and I'm getting ready to do my giveaway video. So thanks for watching. Peace and namaste.